Hi, I'm standing in the middle of my veggie patch. It's a beautiful day in late June. Just behind me are my runner beans. Now, I often bang on about how you don't need pesticides in, in a garden. Um, and I want to hopefully prove my point, um, put my money where my mouth is, as it were. So, my lovely runner beans that I've been nurturing, I grew them in, from seedlings in the greenhouse, planted them out a few weeks ago. They're going front really well, look, up to head height at the top. I don't know if you can see them. There we go. There they are. Um, they've got black bean aphids on them, the whole outbreak of these little aphids. Let me show you. So here, look, this leaf is crusted with little aphids, thousands of them. How easy they are to see. And climbing up the stem, look, under here. These pesky little beasties. Hopefully you can see them. Countless thousands of them being tended by ants, which is a common thing. The ants milk the aphids uh, for honeydew and they protect the aphids against predators, which is not really what we want in the garden. But um, I'm relying on the natural enemies being able to overcome the ants and gobble up all these aphids before they do my beautiful runner beans any harm. So I'm going to bring you back in a week or two and we'll see what's happened. This plant is rather smothered, look. All the way up the stem. How easy it is for you to see these. It's difficult to film such small creatures, but they're really starting to take their toll on this plant. But the cavalry are coming. Ladybirds, lacewings, soldier beetles, hoverflies, parasitic wasps. There's a whole army of creatures which I'm hoping will come to my help very soon. Help! It's a couple of weeks later and things aren't looking good. Look at that. Still lots of black bean aphids. There's some ants tending them. I don't know whether you can see one there. Milking them for their honeydew. Sugary secretions and in exchange guarding them against the uh, predatory insects which would like, I'd like to uh, eat the aphids, but if we just look at the big picture, despite the infestation, the beans are growing like crazy, beautiful flowers appearing, and if we look over here, there's hope because here we have little hoverfly larvae, and there's another one down here, so the natural enemies are starting to arrive and as their numbers build up so hopefully the numbers of aphids will collapse. In the meantime the crops growing perfectly well so far as I can see. Hello and welcome back it's 17th of July now time's flying uh, and the aphids have miraculously more or less completely disappeared behind me are my beautiful uh, runner beans growing like crazy they're flowering busily let's go in for a closer look uh, look uh, even little beans forming here and look bigger beans down here we're going to be able to pick oh look 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 I reckon within a week or so some lovely tender runner beans will be ready to pick now there are just a few aphids left if we look under here there's a, there's a few, and one ant left looking after his diminished herd, I should say her diminished herd, because of course ants are all females more or less. Um, and actually you want there to be a few aphids left, you don't want to wipe them all out because you want there to be food for the ladybirds, the lacewings, the earwigs, the soldier beetles, and so on. Now it's all about balance and if you could just don't use pesticides and grow lots of different vegetables and fruits and flowers then it's easy to get balance in your garden and you don't need to spray any of these hideous chemicals so please please don't poison the food you're planning to eat don't spray the pretty pretty flowers in your garden and poison the bees just leave it to nature if you're interested in more similar content then subscribe to my youtube channel or you might be interested in 
one of these various books I've written about bumblebees and other insects and how to look after them in your garden and more broadly and the newest one, Silent Earth, which is all about how we can avert the insect apocalypse.